What's going on guys? So if you're waiting for the Flash video, that'll hopefully be out tomorrow. I don't feel too good right now, and that episode was pretty good, and I kind of want to bring the hype. So that is why I'm not doing it right now, because I just don't feel 100%. But anyways, I do have a video for you guys because I, it's kind of a continuation from a story I did on the Daily Dose. And that was about Army Hammer. And I, I got to uh, freaking correct myself because I kept saying Arnie Hammer in that video. But I found out the damn N is an M and it's Army Hammer. And I just corrected myself because I totally pronounce names wrong all of the time. Anyways, the story was about him possibly being the Green Lantern in the DCEU and the Justice League movie because it was confirmed that Justice League is going to have the Green Lantern in my suspicions. I think it's just going to be a cameo like at the end after they beat Steppenwolf or whatever, send him back to Dark Side or whatever. I think the Green Lantern is just going to show up and be like, oh, what happened here? Something like that. And, uh, you know, he's not going to be in the whole movie. He'll just show up at the end or it'll be an end credit scene. With that announcement, everybody is all like, who the hell is going to play Green Lantern? And there's been a bunch of rumors. And the latest one is that Army Hammer will be the Green Lantern or is rumored to be the, the Green Lantern. I can't even talk right now. He's rumored to be the Green Lantern because of certain follows and trolling and all of this stuff that is going on on the internet and Twitter. But some of you guys put an idea in my brain that totally got me thinking and you were like juice what if he's nightwing and i was like no he's not gonna be nightwing and then i started thinking about it throughout the day and i was all like what if this fool is nightwing now one of you i was having a conversation with you in the comments of that green lantern video and uh, i should say the daily dose with the green lantern story uh, one of you mentioned how he's only 30, and I was all like, what? I was all, he's only 30? Homeboy is only two years older than I am, in case you guys didn't know my age. But, dude is only 30, totally makes me feel like I haven't accomplished anything in the world, because he's about to be in the DCEU more than likely, and I'm not even in the DCEU for anything. Uh, but anyways, so this dude is only 30, and then if you really start putting the pieces together, it's all like, holy shit. This dude could possibly be Nightwing. Shut up, phone! So with this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some evidence on why Army Hammer could actually be Nightwing instead of Hal Jordan the Green Lantern or a Green Lantern in general. Okay, so check this out. Okay, so with the whole age thing that I just talked about, freaking uh, Ben Affleck is in his like 40s. He's like 42 or 44, right? Well, in the comic books, Batman is about 10 to 15 years older than Robin, or AKA Nightwing, when they start, you know, just in general. They're about 10 to 15 years apart. I want to say they're more probably 12 to 15. But anyways, so that makes sense already. Like, in real life, they would be about that far apart in age. Army Hammer's 30, Ben Affleck is 42 or 44, something like that. So... Right there, we got the age thing down, and it would be perfect. The second thing is the storyline for the movie. Now, from what we've heard is that the storyline is going to take place in Arkham Asylum. That is still the ongoing plot or role scenario that is going to be happening. We know that Deathstroke is going to be the main villain in this movie. A lot of people are thinking that Deathstroke is going to have like a contract to kill Batman or something like that. And what he's going to do is he's going to try to kill Batman in Arkham Asylum by re releasing a whole bunch of the villains in Arkham Asylum. And Batman's going to have to beat his way through to get to Deathstroke to end this movie. So one thing is, of course, Batman's a badass, so he could go through and kick everybody's ass in Arkham Asylum. But what a lot of people are thinking are that he's going to have somebody help him, a.k.a. Nightwing, possibly Batgirl. I would love if there's a freaking Batgirl in this movie, but she's probably not going to come out until the Harley Quinn movie. So more than likely, we will see Batman and Nightwing take on everybody in Arkham Asylum, and then, of course, it'll probably end with Batman fighting Deathstroke. So right there, we will have Batman have a little bit of help from Nightwing, which would be great. And we know that Nightwing has to technically exist if we are going off of the comic books. He has to exist in this universe because we already know that from Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Suicide Squad, that Joker killed a Robin, and that Robin was Jason Todd, who later on becomes the Red Hood. So, if you know anything about the comic books, Jason Todd came after Dick Grayson, who is Nightwing. So we're already on, If I don't think these movies are going to have Tim Drake in it, but we would be on the Tim Drake 
era or possibly even Damian Wayne era of Robins. So Nightwing is already fully grown. He's been Robin for a while and he's got to have been he's had to have been Nightwing for a while because you don't get freaking Jason Todd until you know Robin becomes Nightwing. So right there we already got the age thing down and we got the reason why Nightwing exists in this universe. Now the biggest thing, the next biggest thing was something I mentioned in that Green Lantern video was that Army Hammer trolled his fans. He was like, huge announcement coming soon. I will be playing blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he just trolled a lot of people on Twitter. Go watch that video for that storyline. But in that video, I talked about how he was talking to Joe Manganiello. I don't know how to say his last name. Deathstroke. The guy that's going to be playing Deathstroke. He talked to him on Twitter and they had this little conversation that said this. So good to see you, dude. Great to catch up. See you in a few days. Then Joe responded, yeah man, so stoked and congrats again. In that Green Lantern video, I talked about how these guys don't have an upcoming movie together. I looked at both of their IMDB pages. No, they don't share any of the same upcoming projects. So it's not like they're working on anything together. This could also be just bros hanging out, but he's congratulating them on something. So it looks like some big news has happened. Now, Deathstroke is going to make a cameo in Justice League. We've seen the footage from that. That's when we found out that Joe was going to be Deathstroke. So we know Deathstroke will be in Justice League. So I was like, oh, maybe they're talking to each other because they met on the set of Justice League or they, you know, they're talking about like post-production in that movie. So they've met. So it just kind of seemed plausible if Army Hammer was going to be Green Lantern, Deathstroke's already in Justice League, it would make sense. Well, it makes even more sense that he would be Nightwing in the upcoming Batman movie and that they would see each other in a few days. I don't know why I did air quotes for so long. And here's why. In a recent interview that Joe did on a sports talk show or whatever, he was talking about, that he, or I should say he was asked about the upcoming Batman movie and of course he can't say a lot of stuff. One thing he mentioned in that interview is he said that the movie should probably start filming this year. Now a lot of people feel that he meant 2017 since we're almost so close to the end of the year and nobody's really going to start filming anything right now especially with the holidays. Ben Affleck's got kids. He ain't going to start no production during Christmas. So um, I think what they were talking about is he meant that it's going to start early spring. And a lot of people have said that before too. There, there's a lot of things on the internet that say that the Batman movie will more than likely start filming early spring. And that makes so much sense because that's only four months away. And if the movie is going to start filming in the spring, that means you need to start getting all your actors. You need to start getting all your materials. You need to get your script. You need to get everything going for pre-production on this movie. And this is all the kind of shit you got to have solidified now. The Justice League is over, guys. That movie has been wrapped. It's over. They're in post-production. That thing comes out in less than a year. So they're just doing all the special effects right now. They're not really filming anything unless they need to do some reshoots. Really hope they don't need to do a whole lot of reshoots because we saw what happened with Suicide Squad. But the biggest thing is if they're doing a Justice League cameo, why would Green Lantern have any interaction with Deathstroke in my eyes? I'm just like, oh shit. But Nightwing would have a lot of interaction with Deathstroke in a Batman solo movie. Oh! Are we gonna get freaking Army Hammer as Nightwing? Now I gotta say this, you guys really put this idea in my head. I started piecing the things together like I usually do for everything and it does make a lot of sense that he could be Nightwing. Now, I think he would make a great Green Lantern. I mean, like I said, you guys need to go watch the man from uncle he's already worked with henry cavill in that movie so he's worked with superman so we already know that he's got good chemistry with henry cavill if he's going to be working with batman and possibly in the next justice league movie or something and superman's there we know they'll get along we've also seen army hammer in lone ranger so you know he wear he wears a mask pretty well uh but you know it's just like He's been in some good things. I think he's a solid actor and you know, you know, he's got he's got the physique for it and everything to actually be part of these superhero movies. I'm pretty sure he'll work out a little bit more, but you know, I think this might actually happen. He could possibly be Nightwing instead of Hal Jordan the Green Lantern. Now, to be honest, I don't care who he is. I mean, if he comes into this DCEU, it would be awesome. I know some of you are like, where the hell are you getting all this information? Watch that Green Lantern video, The Daily Dose. It's at the very end of the video, like the last seven minutes or something like that. I don't know, just watch the whole video because you're cool like that. Um, but anyways, uh, there was all this Twitter stuff going on on why he's more than likely going to be a part of the DCEU. Now, a lot of people are assuming he'll be a good guy. He could possibly be a villain. I don't think he's going to be. But the two biggest roles right now would be Green Lantern, which is a lot of people feel like he's going to be Green Lantern. But now, 
With this possibility of Nightwing and this Batman movie just around the corner, it's very possible that Army Hammer could be Nightwing in the upcoming Batman movie. And that would be pretty badass because that is going to be a big character that's more than likely going to be in three movies because you'll see him in the next upcoming Batman trilogy and probably in some Justice League movies. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. They might not put him in the Justice League unless it's like very small roles or it's like a really huge event. He'll more than likely be in those three freaking Batman movies. Now, it'd be really interesting because I think he'd probably want his own series, so he'd more than likely be a Green Lantern, but uh, I wouldn't be opposed if he's Nightwing. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think he's going to be more of a Green Lantern, or do you think he could possibly be Nightwing? I just wanted to bring these uh, possible connections together for you guys, but do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with all your bat buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, guys, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. If I'm a daily dose of juice, see you guys next time. Bye.